welcome to another reaction review video with me, Nina Schofield, singer, songwriter, vocal coach and session musician. And today we're finally listening to Olivia Rodrigo's album Sour. Yay! Uh, I'm really interested to see exactly what's going on in this because I've only heard her singles so far and they've all been quite different. So what is the vibe going to be in this whole record? I have no idea. Let's listen out for different vocal techniques, what's going on in the music. Let's just soak in the whole thing. Are you ready? Here we go. Brutal. Ooh. Descending string line. No, not what I was expecting at all. <laughs> I know, obviously, in Good For You, we have that punk pop type thing, but this is heavy. I'm so insecure, I think that I'll die before I drink it. I'll be so There's a cool distortion on her vocal. It's quite sinking, this melody, isn't it? It's brutal out of here. <laughs> so this plays into her more playful side, and What's clever about the arrangement here is having that sudden break and then, God, that's the clever bit because suddenly your attention switches and the hook of the track or the main message of the track is really up front. <laughs> so now there's this open hi-hat, uh, just the second verse, it's giving it a little bit more momentum compared to the first verse. I hate every song I write. And I'm not cool I hate every song I write. Oh. oh, the tempo is changing. I was just about to stop and say that in itself is a hook. The da -da 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 -da. But now the tempo is changing. So what's going to happen? So now it's swapped over from guitar to the strings, which is really interesting. And she's a bit more delicate, a bit more kind of less angsty, more fragile. Is that the word? To start. To start. <laughs> I thought you might say that. Okay, traitor. Ooh. Is that her vocal? So she's going for that real delicate vocal quality now. It's interesting to me that we went from this upfront track to potentially a ballad as the second track. Throwing out of the water a usual track list for an album, I'd say. Unless this becomes more punk poppy as it goes on. Who knows? She's full of surprises. I kept quiet so I could keep you. Okay, so she's talking about how her partner has obviously cheated on her, but she is putting up with it, I guess, just to keep this person. So she's putting this person's needs against or above hers. Did you hear that? Feel that flip in her vocal? Very nice. Her. That makes sense. Okay, you didn't cheat, but you're still a traitor. Got it. Great message, very well put across lyrically. And one thing I noticed was the snare drum has this kind of muffled effect on it and it's every other time. So it really gives you that kind of intimate ballad feel. A vocal now dynamically really going there. I love that flip. The guitar is really becoming more of a presence and those backing vocals surrounding us. Breath control, listen to that everyone. Oh, hello. And it went entirely over that whole vocal phrase. She had that breath for that whole thing, which was gorgeous. Oh, a lovely little outro. Yeah. That's what happens when you give your heart to someone. Okay, driver's license. We know this one, everyone. Um, 
I'm guessing it would be the same version that we know and love. <laughs> There's a lot of heartbreak on this album, or like, it, it seems to me as if it's about the same person so far. So this person is um, not living up to Olivia's expectations, let's put it that way. And we have that constant dun dun dun. What note is that actually? A B flat. Yeah, nice. Oh, the strings there are gorgeous. The continuity between all the tracks because we have the acoustic guitar, the strings, the gentle drums, I'd say, and obviously her soaring vocal, but there's even even in track one, Brutal, which had that more punk pop thing, maybe it's because I know that there's more of that to come, but I still feel the continuity. Now I drive along past your street. Another um, emphasis on taking everything out whilst she does the main hook of the song. This is my favourite bit of this song. Just gorgeous. Her high vocals are so nice. And then as we end this song, it doesn't end on the chord that you think it will. Is it that chord? I'll work it out later, but that's a nice chord anyway, isn't it? Maybe I'll write a song with it. Okay, one step forward, three steps back. Oh dear, not two steps back. Three. Bird song. Oh, oh, I feel the Taylor influence here already. Just to ask you how you are. It's the muffled piano as well. Everything's quite muted in a lot of these songs, so oh, it's either muted or it's distorted. Nothing is just playing out in the open. Here is the instrument. No effects. Never doubted myself so much. Okay, so still we're on this heartache thing. Never doubted myself so much. Wow. Do you know what? Heartache is awful, but you get good songs out of it. You really do. One step Oh, is it me or is the the way the emphasis of the beat changed here to what was going on in the beginning? I'm the love of your life until I make you mad. Don't understand. Ooh, I like the vocal effect there. So a kind of short cathedral reverb burst and a little bit of a, a delay on it, but. What strikes me is lyrically in this whole record so far is just how um, I, I kind of want to just say to Olivia, like, don't worry about this person. <laughs> like, Don't worry. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's fantastic. We get we're getting these songs out of it. But I just want to say, like, Olivia, you're gorgeous uh, inside and out and forget this boy. And her vocal now dynamically is really pushed. Oh, we have an organ synth. Ha! Now, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I'd leave you, but the roller coaster's all I've ever had. It's being in that position whereby you almost want the relationship to have drama in it because it is what you're used to and I'm kind of hopeful that on her next record we'll see a step away from that and more into her having that confidence to just be her in a relationship and or just by herself and not have the other person's uh, thoughts and wants and needs ahead of hers maybe that will be her yeah her next record's focus Kind of a two-step melody. I really like the bird song in that. It's nice and gentle. You feel like you're outside. Okay, déjà vu. It's like a little toy box. And what I like about this song is how it instantly just takes you somewhere to, that just feels like 
you're in Malibu and you know she's very good her team are very good at creating the soundscape that reflects the lyrics that we did that too she that we did that too that vocal delivery is on point to me and again we're highlighting her high vocals which i think is her speciality those those high vocals <laughs> love that the slidiness of the bass shuffle drums lots of fills and her vocal has a double track on it so she's got the lead vocal then the unison um perfectly in sync and it just makes that vocal pop out so taylor swift that so taylor swift <laughs> is that her, it's actually her vocal instead of the guitar it's heavily distorted Great reverb on that track. Good for you. The bass here is intense, isn't it? Everything's super dry now. We just came off the tail end of that heavy reverb and now it's like, whoosh, we're right up here. Good for you. Back to our pump pop, Paramore inspired. This is a great song, isn't it? I mean, it has done so well in the charts and you can see why. I feel like it's the perfect follow up. Like she's released the right singles in the right order. That really helps, I feel, in establishing someone's career. If you release the wrong songs at the wrong time, it just doesn't, it doesn't work. It doesn't resonate, but she's really just hit the nail on the head with her releases. The end of that again. <gasps> Same thing, she drops out at the end, you get that real focus on that goodbye, that drop down vocal, which I love. I never get those lyrics right. I always want to say, you look happy as hell, and it's not that, is it? It's happy, healthy, right? The way this again slides down is really interesting, and then the build again dynamically. Whoop, whoop, whoop. The break. That like a damn sociopath. I love that lyric. Great end to that song. Enough for you. Enough for you. Ah. So we're back down again. So we're really going on this kind of roller coaster. The same way she said that she has this almost addiction to the roller coaster of a relationship going up and down. I feel like we're having our ups and downs reflected in the track listing here. There's that crown, her vocal again. Be everything, just on that part of the song. Um, <laughs> she she really puts those interesting flips, not necessarily consciously thinking about it. Well, maybe she is, but to me, it's like a natural part of her, her vocal. Oh, that's that slide bass again. I like that drop down vocal. That's a nice sweep down. Usually you get a lot of uh, vocal bend ups, but she's doing all the vocal bend downs. There's a vocal bend up too much. This song is like a quiet moment, isn't it? Just a little bit of time to think and to focus on her lyrical content. And the way her vocal there isn't necessarily perfect, perfect, but on purpose. I learned that from Christina Aguilera, who learned it from her songwriting partner, Linda Perry, who just said, you know, it doesn't have to be a perfect vocal. It has to be a raw vocal. It has to convey the emotion. That's what's going to hook people in, not perfection. And so I'm always listening out for those kinds of vocals, especially within a debut album, because that's when you know an artist is really going there and isn't going to be someone who's afraid to hold back so I'm glad we've had a couple of those moments so far here lovely flips again 
Okay, so happier. So maybe she's about to get happier. <laughs> Hello, 80 cents. Okay, so now we're still in this acoustic-y feel, but something about the vibe has changed here. Okay, we've got this bum 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 unchained melody type piano. That like oh my love. anyway it's a great uh, ostinato to have within a song okay so i hoped that at this point olivia would be like don't worry about you i'm worrying about me and i'm happier but we're still thinking about this other person so this album is definitely about this relationship and uh, just getting all of the emotion out. It's like her therapy, I think. Clever. The way she says that, don't find no one better. <laughs> you can hear the kind of frustration and anger within her vocal. Wow. Listen to how the strings in her vocal are following each other. Ooh, that flow and the bass oh there's a build at the end oh and then the drop out so actually she had that same thing where she has the focus on the the title or the, the main hook of a song but right at the very end we're getting that drop out. Jealousy, jealousy. Back to that bass, that dry bass. I like the chord changes here. I know it's just the bass, but between her vocal and, and the bass, we're creating that chord and it's really nice. I know their beauty is not my lack. This, I think, is about social media and comparing yourself to people. I'm pretty sure I read somewhere that that's what this song is about. Interesting harmonies, aren't they? This is going to be my favourite song on the record. Ha-ha! I love the vibe of it. The lyrical message. <laughs> jealousy started following me this is definitely the social media thing and it's very clever to say that i like when you have a lyric that can be interpreted in several different ways but ultimately the message behind it you can see what was inspiring that lyric wow these... the way she's delivering these lyrics that kind of uh... piano <laughs> that is great this is the best song on the record come at me and say it isn't it is it's something a little bit different it still fits within the context of everything else more of this olivia all the vocal layers and the way everything's interacting here. Great song, yes. Okay, favourite crime. That sounds like a Taylor Swift title, doesn't it? Did, didn't I say that's what she's saying? Doesn't matter how this person's treating her, she will let them do it. Yeah, the things that you do and put yourself through for someone else that aren't you. Ah, hmm. oh, no, Olivia, don't do it again. No, I'm getting so frustrated <laughs> listening to this record and knowing that she doesn't have to do this stuff for anyone. Mm. 
This is gorgeous and it's soaring. Hi. Listen to all the harmonies here. I would not be surprised if there are about 20 layered up. Hi. The way the harmony moves in and out there is gorgeous. <laughs> There's that more raw vocal as well, and even on the guitar, that kind of live sensation. Last song. Hope you're okay. Back to bass guitar. I'm all for the heavier feel. Oh, actually, no, is it electric, but just bassy? Yeah. Uh... Wait, that's a, that's a deep lyric. He wore long sleeves because of his dad. But if you're out there, I hope that you're okay. This is a gorgeous song too. Oh, this one's getting to me. I feel like this and Jealousy Jealousy are kind of in a different league. I, I would like more of this kind of Olivia where it's just so raw and you get her beautiful vocal, but jarred with a kind of crunchy, dark, deep, instrumental. It's almost like the harmony is more important here, or just the whole wash of the whole thing, than having one particular lead vocal. Oh, that has given me the goosebumps. <sighs> These lyrics are really intense and I d I'm looking forward to seeing what Olivia does just over the course of her career lyrically because if this is what she's doing now, what is next? With the courage to unlearn all of the hatred mm. I feel like this song will give people a lot of strength. I love you and I hope that you're okay And then it just stops and that same kind of repetitive piano again i really like that um that's really pretty isn't it really like that what a gorgeous end to that record and as i say i think hope you're okay and jealousy jealousy are my favorite songs I obviously really like the singles as well, but I feel like that has solidified that album is really good to me. Uh, lyrically, as I say, she's fantastic. I just get frustrated because I want to tell her to like get rid of people who aren't treating her well. <laughs> I want to say that to everyone. For me, it's going to be interesting what's next. I feel like, yes, we've got this album now. It's a great album. I hope she doesn't wait too long to put the next one out. That's my feeling. What do you think? And what's your favourite song from this record? Let me know in the comments box down below. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please do hit that subscribe button, turn on the notifications, become part of our family here. And you can of course find me on Twitter and Instagram at Nina underscore Schofield. And you can find all the links to my various services in the description box down below. And I will look forward to seeing you again very soon for another video. Have a lovely day. Okay, bye. Love you.